Hey, Pam Bivens here with my partner, Kim Brion, and um, we are ready to do the next training. I have not so far had anyone contact me about the training or any questions that you've had. Um, Kim, have you had anything? Uh, yeah, last week I had um, somebody that had contacted me with the, um, some information. This week I did not, so I, okay. I covered that in the training last week. All right. Good enough. So we'll just go on. What we're going to cover today is basically on the video training how to catch your audience's attention. Now, I'm going to need to refer to you if, if I am frozen or whatever because I can't see it on this end. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is basically take you through the process of it's like okay you, you want to do a video and the process that you go through to, to think of what you want and just go, go through the steps. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I'm thinking of doing a video, you know, obviously it's the content you want to put in it, but you want to know the purpose of it and what you want your audience to basically get out of it, what you want them to do at the end of it, okay? So you'll want them to uh, come check out the sale if you are a brick and mortar store, make an appointment if you are in that type of business, go to your website, you know, check out the products, whatever. So, so you want to, to make sure you know what you want them to do. The next thing that you'd want to go through would be a couple of questions that you would be asking your perfect customer. And we call that the avatar. So you want to know the age range of this person, what they do for a living, if they do if they're self-employed, if they're got a business going, if they're working for corporate America. What you know, what are what is their niche? Of, of how they, they run their lives, basically. So if it is a business opportunity that you've got going, and many of us do, Kim and I both work from home, and um, so with a business opportunity, you want to know what their challenges are. So what are, are they needing to overcome in their lives? Okay, so you want to also know how can your video help them? Either you're doing a training, you are like oh, we are now. <laughs> okay, or or you're you're giving them some type of information that they can use to make to answer a problem that they're dealing with. So what what are their the challenges that they're dealing with? So um, the next one that I would have come up in my mind anyway would be what if someone if someone shared this information with me what would what what would that fix in my life what would that fix in my business so you would be bringing out those points for them within your video okay so basically how would you make their lives better or how would you change it in any way okay for a brick and mortar business um, what would their basically you would go through the same kinds of questions and what would you 
or your product fix for them. In Kim's situation, she's a, a massage therapist. And she's used a blogging platform to basically find customers, or basically make it to where their customers find her. And by using a blog to put your videos in, that helps the search engines find you more. Okay, and since video has been getting to be very, very up there with people searching, you want to make sure you get all your information down in the description so your people can find you. Okay, so the next little thing would be to figure out a title that if somebody was to search for you in Google, that they would find you. Are they searching for that particular topic? And we've gone through this a couple of times to where you would just put what you think they would be searching for in the, in the search bar. And it'll have little drop downs for you. In that respect, it will show you like a quick search engine optimization who's looking for what basically so that's what I use uh, quite often to get, get my title going so a catchy title something that would come to their mind in what they'd be searching for you want to make sure you, you catch those words Okay, so my next point would be getting yourself into a good mindset. Now, you want to be positive. You want to basically know, know for sure that what you have will be helping them. So, and then, you know, you want to be motivating you know, you want to know what their pain is to be able to get them out of that, to show them what you have will fix whatever issue they're going through. Now, I put down energetic, but I mean, not in a yay car salesman kind of way, but in a caring, relating sort of way where they know that you care about what they're going through. Okay. And, and can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, good. I've been trying to get through. Um, yeah. And you just cut off, Kim. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Pam. Okay. Okay. The important thing, I think, though, too, is, is to be yourself. Um, come across in the way that that is you. Don't try to model or be somebody that you're not. If you are a person who speaks slowly, then speak slowly. Don't try to force anything else out there. But if you're a person who talks very rapidly and is very excitable, that's your personality. Let it flow. Don't try to be anything that you're not. So that's a point that I wanted to make sure that uh, you know, um, don't try to change up trying to be something that you're not because it's going to come across from the audience. They'll they'll catch on to that. Yeah, and sometimes when you're you're too excited, you talk too fast. <laughs> so just slow it down a little. Take a breath. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so and actually that that goes along with mindset as well. You, you really need to be able to, to come across as you, not, not as someone that you like watching because they, they have to deal with you, okay? So you want to remember that the videos are 
the internet version of your real estate. So that's going to be out there for a very long time. You know, the only time that I know that it doesn't is if you delete it out off of the screen, off, off of your YouTube channel, or if YouTube takes you down for something that e either you were flagged or something like that. So definitely back up your videos. Keep them safe into like an external hard drive as well. Okay. Video on a blog, as I said, is like the search engine's one-two punch. It, it'll, it'll help it rank and it'll help the blog rank as well, regardless of what kind of blog you've got going. Okay, so, and, and Pam, are you aware of the new algorithm that they have going on now too? I have heard that they have changed it to where they want more comments and likes and that kind of stuff on blogs. Exactly. So yeah. just to let you know, the viewers who are watching this, uh, YouTube has actually also changed their format on how they're ranking uh, the videos. So you're going to want to make sure that you get your videos out there so that other people can see that. Um, one of the suggestions is, is if you are on Facebook, to go ahead and post it on your Oops, we just lost her. One, well, you're frozen too, Pam. Okay. So one tip that I would recommend is instead of putting your watch, um, oh, the, the, watch the watch link, link don't put just you. You don't want to put your watch link and the video on your Facebook thread. What I find a lot of people doing is is they'll click on um, from your Facebook thread, but they'll watch it on Facebook. What you want to do is Jing it. It's, Jing is a free tool that lost you again. And then put the watch. Sorry about the connection, guys. We are doing what we can here. That way you can, the person will just click on the link and go to YouTube. And that's where you want them to watch it. That way they can share it and comment and do all of those things from the YouTube channel. Okay. So 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 put a picture of the video on Facebook and the link within the video so they can click on the link and go to YouTube. Is that right? Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah, I I've noticed a, a lot of the videos are playing right there on on Facebook because Facebook likes to keep them there. So you can you can do both. You can do. I mean, I I would be prone to doing both. Only only because they're separate entities. Actually, I heard something that Facebook and YouTube are combining. Is that true? I haven't heard that yet. Okay. Okay. I, I was just the looking at the feed today and and noticed somebody had gotten that out there, I go, really? <laughs> okay. Well, because of the fact that YouTube is becoming more social, right. YouTube wants your videos to be, be social. So that's why I was recommending only putting the link to YouTube on your Facebook channel so that you're directing them to your YouTube channel to watch it. Otherwise, people will watch it from your news feed, and you're not going to get the likes, comments, and shares that YouTube is looking for. Uh, yeah, because YouTube is part of Google, and that's and Google is the one that changes the algorithms. Mm-hmm. Aha. Okay. Ah, oh, gotta stay up on all this lovely stuff. 
Okay. So that's what we're here for the training for. That's yeah. why we're training and getting this information out so that people are aware of what's going on out there. Keeping you Definitely. up to date. Definitely. All right. So basically, after you give your information you know you want to share on your video, you've, you've got your title going on, and you've got your mindset, you like, you're, you're energized, you can get the, the point across in your video, you, you got the information that will help your audience with their problem because as an entrepreneur we're all problem solvers. So at that point you make sure you get into a lighted area. Light is in front of you, not behind you. You can hear you very well. Make sure you, you're slow enough that they can catch every word you've got going. They want to be able to hear you very well. So turn on the camera, introduce yourself, and let your audience know, you know that, that you're there to help them and wanted to, to learn everything that you want them to learn from that video. Make sure you put a call to action at the end of it. Tell them what you want them to do. Go to your website. Make an appointment. If you have the um, overlays and that kind of stuff done with YouTube, you know, throw up a, a little banner. Let them know what your websites are. Definitely put them in your description at the bottom. The description will give them a lot of information as well as, you know, a little bit of SEO in it and since they just changed the algorithm make sure you definitely hone in on you know it's like click like and share you know if you know anyone that can be helped by this information or anything like that definitely that that is something else you're seriously going to want to give to them so yeah because actually People will do what you tell them to do. So if you have it written out of what you want them to do, like Pam says, you can put it on your annotations onto your um, video if you totally forgot to do that You know when you're doing your video. But as you're sitting down prior to, like Pam said, you know, sit down and figure out what your intention is on that video. You don't want to be cutting a video that's going to be trying to, to do three or four juggling of different things. You want that video to be specific so that you want the end result to, to do something for you. So th figure out what it is that you want that end result to do. Do you want a customer to buy something from you? Do you want the customer to just like your fan page on Facebook? Do you want that customer to be clicking on a link to join something? So it depends on what you're doing your video for. If you're going to be doing it for a squeeze page, if you're going to be doing a sales video, or if you're going to be doing a training video. So think of, think of what it is that you're going to be doing. And then um, when you uh, put, turn on that camera, you know, r before turning on that camera, run through it a few times. Know exactly what it is. Even script it out if you have to. Uh, don't be afraid of doing that. And if you're too shy to get on camera, like we said last week and the week before, you can do screen capture page or uh, screen shares where it's just your computer screen showing. There's so many other tools that we'll be getting into on the next week's training as to the different types of tools that you can be using to do different types of videos so that you're not just a talking head or you're not just a screenshot. You know, you can do so many different things. So um, just to let you know also that 30 to 40 percent of people who are viewing your videos will convert 
to sales. So videos are a really big um, marketing tool that you don't want to be overlooking no matter what other type of marketing um, tools and, and promotions that you're using. You're, you're going to want to take a look at what video can really do for you. Yeah. It's the only platform that I know of that will get people to really know you if you allow yourself to be you on your videos. You, you, need, you need to come across as you so they can know, like, and trust you and know that your business is not going to scam them. I mean, everybody's afraid of being taken advantage of. And, and that's what video will help you with, with, with being known, liked, and trusted. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, if, I mean, I have my Facebook thing up, up there. If anyone has any questions, we can definitely answer anything. Otherwise, unless you know, Kim, you've got something more for them. That that's the whole process. Uh, we jumped on late. Do a recap of what you just discussed. Okay. For oh, that's true. That's true. You get, because I mean, I even come to things late every once in a while. <laughs> but, okay, as a recap, you want to make sure that you are, basically think of what you're going to go over and what problem you're going to be solving for your customer, who your customer literally is. So who is your perfect avatar? Who are you targeting, your target market? And then you you ask the questions of basically what their challenges are, how can your video help them, what your actually if somebody gave you the the, the information that you want to give them, how that would have changed your business as well as how it will change that person's business. Okay? So, and a brick and mortar business is the same way. So, those are the, the, the details you, you want to focus on who, you wanna, who you're talking to. So, you're, you want to come up with a good title, something that you know somebody will be searching for. And that's when you need to get into the head of your target market. So what what are their concerns, their issues that they're dealing with? So if you could imagine yourself in their shoes, what would you be be hunting for? And and let you know the quick SEO trick of putting the that those words into the Google search bar. And, you know, it gives you a drop down of what people literally are searching for, you know, and put that as part of your title. And the longer the title, the better, mainly because you can put several different search terms in it. Okay? So get your mindset going. So you want to be positive, motivating, energetic. Be creative. You want to make sure you keep their attention. Okay? Otherwise, when they start getting bored, they're going to be out of there. Hey, let me, can I just cut you off for just Always. one second? Always. I, okay. Uh -huh. um, I just wanted to elaborate a little bit more on the um, uh, Google keyword search. Um, you know, we have been training that that's the way that it's the simple way to do it because the Google Planner uh, has taken over the Google Keyword Tool. Uh, so now it's the Google Planner. 
and there's all sorts of different um, SEO um, systems and tools that you can purchase yourself to, you know, do different SEO things. Um, so it really depends on, to me, it depends on how much you want to use your videos to rank yourself. You might want to invest in other different SEO trainings or SEO information for that because Google changes their algorithms so frequently that staying on top of it is really is very important. Um, you know, there's no sense of taking your time and energy and putting together a video if you're not going to be seen by your viewers. So do the research on your SEO um, keywords. Pam was just mentioning that you can have like a, a longer title. The longer title allows you to use different types of keywords so, to, you know, to rank with. So, um, but make sure it's your, your title, your description, your tags have your keywords plus the f first few 10 seconds of your video should be saying that keyword also. So it would be, hello everyone, my name is and I'm here today to it, you know talk, talk about and get your keyword in there. Okay, in the next few minutes I'm going to discuss get your keyword in there. So these are little tips that we're, you know, giving, passing on to you so that uh, you're going to be able to get yourself ranked on the first page of Google. And like Pam said before, both of us are available for uh, coaching information. If you have any other questions, you can also, you know, uh, talk to us through our Facebook pages. I don't have my banner up tonight, didn't get it up in time, but I am uh, Facebook, work with Kim Brillen. Um, you can, ch you know, find me there. All right, sorry for interrupting you, Pam. Not, not a problem. You always, you always come up with some, some good tips. And you tend to elaborate more than I do, <laughs> which is a good thing. <laughs> okay, so um, just remembering that your video on the Internet is like your permanent piece of real estate. And if you put it into a blog, that is their, their Google's one-two punch because a lot of blogs, you can they comment at the bottom of the blog too. So any place that, that you can get them going either to the, your YouTube channel, to your blog, to get those, those comments in there, always a good thing. Okay. So, and then make sure that you, if you are excitable or if you're nervous, I notice that when I am nervous, I will tend to talk faster, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> so just take a deep breath and just go slow, talk into the camera, make eye contact with the lens of the camera, and Talk like you're, you're talking to yourself in the mirror or your best friend about the, the item that you know will help their business. Okay? So basically letting your audience know that you care that the information that you're giving to them will help them with a problem or anything of the nature, however you're trying to help them. Okay? And basically, you know, at the end of it, make sure you let them know that you want them to comment and like and go to your website and make an appointment, whatever you want them to do, what action you want them to take, that needs to, to happen. Um, one of the leaders that I follow he had, he, he was put out a review on, I believe it was a vacuum cleaner. And he, it was a great review, and, but at the bottom of it, all he said was thank you. He didn't put a link to the vacuum cleaner. He didn't say, you know, if you want more information or if you want to check it out, go here. 
so he got no response from it. Well, once he went back and made that correction, he got a lot of response from it. So, so now he's like all over the vacuum cleaners. And that same video is making him money still to this day. And he did that about three years ago, I think it was. But definitely, permanent real estate, it doesn't matter if something goes out of fashion, if they're not selling it in the markets anymore, people Google old stuff as well. So if you're doing reviews on things that you want to sell, that'll work too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good point about being the, the real estate. Yeah, there's... You just cut off him. For five years ago and they are still getting paid today for those um, videos that they have put up. So good point. Yeah, yeah, because yep. even the, the beginner bad videos still give them information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, let's let's try to get everybody to make good videos here. Um, <laughs> there's some editing tools that people can get for editing their videos, and I think that's a really good um, thing to do with your videos. I've been to, I've had mixed um, people tell me, no, don't touch your videos, just cut them and put them up there, and then I've had other people who have said, well, when I made some tweaks to my videos, when I've added some slides, the slides or the intro and outro as well. Ah. Those, those can help quite a bit. Because it, it can also help with your branding as well. Mm -hmm. And that's really important. So um, if you have a Mac, there's ScreenFlow, which is about $100. There's, um, which also is a screen capture and editing software so that you Okay, Cam, you just got cut off. There's Camtasia mm -hmm. and um, Sony Vegas for a, a PC. So those are the two um, uh, for a PC that I found to be really good for um, for their money. Actually, I have found quite a few people using iMovie. I haven't had, I've had a few people who are not happy with the iMovie, so I didn't add that on there. <laughs> uh, well, I figure with any program, there's always going to be someone that doesn't, it, it, it doesn't click with them as well. And sometimes you have to just try it out. And most of them have a 30-day trial period, which is awesome, because if you, if you get it, definitely try it out for that 30 days. If it's not for you, just cancel it and try another one. <laughs> Because I found with the YouTube editing, um, you don't. Okay, Cam, you just cut up. Oh, Kim's having issues. Can you hear me, Kim? Video, you can cut out the. Looks like we're having issues today. Um, there are quite a bit of um, the um, storms around right now that are fussing with the internet too. Are you back, Kim? Not yet. Okay. So there's there's if anything. Definitely, if you have not subscribed, and so we're sending you reminder emails and that kind of stuff, definitely do that, and um, we will get you the link for, for next week's, and otherwise, connect with us on Facebook if you, if you want to be on the list, and we can you know send it out. We don't do any promotions per, per se on Facebook. The, the email list, we, we do say that, you know, you can send us your video and we'll critique them if you want. We can, you know, we do, do have that service available for you. But otherwise, we will definitely be um, available for you. 
Are you are you live again, Kim? I'm right here. Ah, uh, you had cut off. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it looks like we are pretty done for today, and we will send you the um, invitation to to come and sign up for for next week's. And Kim's got all kinds of things. In the in the hopper for next week, I hear. <laughs> so in that respect, we will see you on next week's video, and um, definitely keep in touch with us. And if you have any questions, put this in the the Facebook groups, and we will definitely get to it. Okay. So you take care, and we'll see you next week. Kim, you good? See you next week, guys.